This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And hit the road. Well, his first appearance on TV, Jr. would be June 30th, 1997. And uh, he's the backstage interviewer for a Legion of Doom interview. Did you know at the time that he was being groomed uh, to be a play-by-play guy? Or Well, not that time. At that time, I just specifically know it, but it made common sense. We needed depth. And uh, as has been proven over the years, sometimes Vince is hard to please. So nobody there was really on safe turf uh, as a broadcaster. And Michael was young. And he had a good look. Uh, he was the right size to be an interviewer because he's, you know, probably five, nine, something like that. So that was a safe number to do interviews. He handled the mic well, well spoken, but I didn't, I never thought at that time that he would evolve to it, but it, it didn't surprise me. And it makes all the sense in the world. And uh, so then when I got sick, uh, early on there, I think maybe the first bout of Bell's palsy, I'm not sure. I'll think about it here in a second. Uh, you know, he had, he got, he got shoved out there to work with Lawler at ringside on live raw. And, uh, that's a tough down deal to be in. JR, were you his mentor when he first started, like right out of the gate? Did you mentor him at all? Yeah, I did. I, well, I'm going to say his mentor. Cause I, I, I helped him with his work. I helped him, uh, with mechanics. I helped him with fundamentals. I helped him with phraseologies. I gave him things to not say, uh, you know, I used to kid him about, you know, the old football analogy is that our guys are really fat, but boy, they are slow. Yeah. We got over right there. Nobody. So, uh, and he got it. He's a, he's a smart guy. He had a good head for the business, but he was, he was fun to interact with in, in that era because he was a sponge for information. He wanted to get better and his ego was not so out of touch and inflated that that was going to affect him. Somebody telling him how to do their job. All you do is give him some direction. And then it's up to the talent that you're directing to utilize what they're, what they're hearing. Was there anything right out of the gate, JR, that stuck out to you in terms of strengths and weaknesses with, with his play by play or his interview skills, anything that sticks out to you? He was always prepared and he, and he uh, he writes notes that are minuscule. I couldn't see him. I couldn't copy his homework if, if I, my life depended on it, so to speak. Uh, but he was always well-prepared, always had some notes, always had some information there that he could utilize at, you know, pull it out and use it any, pretty much any time. Uh, but he, the preparedness I, I thought was great. I, I'm not saying anything, you know, his, his voice needed to be continued to be cultivated. Uh, but I, I, I thought he was a, a great student, great student of, of trying to learn how to become a good storyteller as a broadcaster in pro wrestling. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.